everybody welcome back room with texas all water fishing you know i'm out here it is cold it's in the 40s the wind's blowing about 13 maybe about 15 mile an hour and uh, it's gonna kick up just a little bit and it's supposed to taper off afterwards i'm a little behind the eight ball you know it's a little late you can kind of see the sun's kind of high in the sky typically i like to be out here at sunrise I, I did stop this morning and i got some live bait from uh, bait daddy's right here on the west end galveston so we're out here on the west end of galveston we're out here with donnie donnie stanfield over here at bait daddy's west end 17630 san louis pass road so come by pay donnie a visit yeah we got we got we usually always have shrimp uh finger mullet croaker when they're you know a little bit more abundant um plenty of dead bait options we got kind of everything to get y'all set up if you got everything you forget something chances are we have it so come on out great guy great business family owned business come out and check them out on the west city galveston and the reason why i i got stopped and got some live bait was because it's it's cold right so it's cold the water level has been very very low it's still kind of we still got a little bit of low tide high tide is pretty much right now and then the tide's going back out so i got i stopped and bought some live bait because I'm thinking the bite's gonna be tough. I think it's gonna be a tough bite. It's cold. I'm gonna fish some deep holes. Uh, we just had a freeze last week, so I'm not too sure what the fish are doing. The fish kind of get scattered and get crazy when you have big temperatures drop like that. I'm in the kayak today, so we're gonna get after it. I'm gonna get after it. You know, moving slow. My hands are freezing. You can see I got the beanie hat on. I'm at the. I don't want to take this beanie off. I gotta put my action hat on. I don't want to take this beanie off because it's keeping me warm. But um. Yeah, I'm gonna park the truck and, and get on the water. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. All right, so I stopped this morning and got some live shrimp. I'm gonna use this kale hook right here. And you just wanna hook them through the head. You don't wanna hook them through any of that important stuff. Any of the, the darker stuff on their body, you just kinda in their head, you wanna that would kill them. So I'm size two kale hook. Kinda have a Carolina rig kinda style rig set up there. Nice big egg sinker. I assume that the current's gonna be a little strong right here so that's kind of why i have that a little heavier sinker for it a little bigger and uh yeah i'm just gonna post up a little bit you know i'm not gonna move around too too much like i said we do have some some decent wind going on today fish a couple deep holes you know it is winter time and it's kind of where the fish are gonna be it's cold We've had some pretty freezing temps. So the fish are kind of going to be all scattered and sporadic and, and probably be in some really deep holes. So that's one of the reasons why I bought live shrimp was to, uh, was to try to kind of just do this, that, just kind of post up and, and kind of just fish, just, just catch kind of whatever. I haven't been on the water all week with the holidays and, and being sick so just wanted to uh come out and rip some lip so i'm soaking that line and i'm also going to be throwing also be throwing some goat tandem so what species am i looking at out here i'm looking for speckle shirt speckle trout specks drums uh red drums sheephead and um, hopefully get a, a flatty or two. That'll be that'll be nice to get a flatty. Even if they're on the small, on the lower end, it's still still nice. I still enjoy kind of catching flounder. <clears throat> it's a nice flatty. Then get them up here. I never set my hook on them. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, got a flounder. 
Oh, Mr. Flatty. Man. Mr. Flatty. You know, I never I never really set my hook on him with this with the way this has strong this tide is. He just felt like dead weight. He really never felt like a fish. I thought maybe I was coming, you know, coming up an incline right there. And uh I thought maybe maybe then I said, man, let me turn my GoPro on. He's he's small. I mean he might be close to 14 inches. But I just barely lipped him. Look, just barely hooked him. Just barely caught him, like right on the skin of his outside of his mouth. But he's definitely a small guy. But oh, ow, he just bit me. He just bit me. Look at that. He just bit me. I'm trying to get that out of his mouth. Look, both of those puncture moves. Man, I have bit been bit by every fish but a shark. I have pretty much every single fish I've ever caught, except the shark I've been bit by. Ugh. He bit me. This is gonna be a little juvenile. I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna be quite 15. But uh, I'm gonna put him on the old board. Nice icebreaker for the day. I've been out here for a while. A little while. It's kind of just slow, slow, slow. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna keep. He definitely will keep. He's uh he's 15 and yeah, he's close. He might be right on the money. Right on 15. I won't let you go, buddy. Thank you for thank you for biting me. I appreciate you. Little fat little guy though. He's eating good. Good fish. Yes, sir. Flatty, flatty, flatty. If he was a little bigger, if he was about 16, I would have kept him. Not much going on here. You know, kind of a, a couple of deep holes right over here in this bayou. And uh had success here before, you know, during this time of year when it's a lot colder. Um, but it wasn't following up like a uh, hard freeze like we had last week so i'm going to uh i'm gonna keep moving down i'm gonna move down a little further down don't know if i'm going to the big pass i might but uh you know i know it's a little deeper there um the winds never really picked up like they were forecasted to so that's good but with that still in the back of my mind and feeling as fatigued as i am i'm really surprised that i'm feeling this fatigue Be just you know been sick all last week so I haven't really been in the water so feeling a little little fatigue um, didn't really want to go too too far kind of want to make it a light simple easy day that's one of the reasons why I picked up some live shrimp because I thought I'll be eh, I'll be in and out you know catch a one or two keepers catch a handful of small stuff uh, especially using live shrimp so but that's not the case at all uh, looks like I'm gonna grind out a day so I'm gonna go a little further down the bayou and uh, cast into a few more little deep pockets and I don't know we'll see we'll see where we end up but the thing is that we need to catch some fish I mean one fish video ouch that hurts I hate I hate that one or two fish video man so lame so boring so we're gonna pull the anchor up get the bait bucket back out and uh, get down the road Got another small flounder. Yeah. You know, and again, it never felt like anything. It just felt like dead weight because of the current. But this guy's much smaller than the last one. Right there on some of that Big Daddy's live shrimp. Skin hanging out of his mouth little little guy but you know what i'm not picky i'm not picky today i wanted to get out i wanted to catch a couple fish let me get so getting back and start getting back on the groove of things and uh especially after the holidays and after feeling sick just wanted to come out push myself a little bit and uh Catch some, catch some fish.
floundered? I don't think so. It's just me mud. Kinda doesn't feel like much weight to it. Let's check. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I might have a little bit of weight to it. Forgot my drag set all the way tight, loose. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, a little flounder. Flounder. Another little flatty. <clears throat> and this guy's gonna be undersized as well. Just holding on to it, sitting on bottom. I'm not complaining, it has been extremely slow. You know, when you're not catching fish on live bait, <laughs> That just shows you, tells you how slow it really is when you're not even going through your bait. It's um, terribly slow. You know, I haven't really seen any bait in the water either. No bait. Just until recently, when I was standing up and scouting around a little bit, I saw just a little bit of bait running through. And that's like, this is the first time all day that I've seen bait. Just, just not there. Just not there. So... We'll, uh, we'll measure them up just to just so I know just curiosity but he's probably gonna be like 12 inches maybe come on come on stay still stay still stay still well he's a little longer than I thought but he's 14 and a quarter so a few years ago you would have been you'd have been dinner fair or table fair rather dinner then you you would have been table fair at dinner but I don't think I would have kept them anyway. You just took so tiny. But that was fun. Let's see if we can pull another one out. And I'm really going, I'm really primitive. I have an egg sinker that is going through my leader line. And I wrapped around it twice. Kind of let you adjust where you want it. And then I just have uni to uni with a uh, kel hook size 2 kale hook on it very very old school very primitive no swivels no chatter weight just uh, just the bare minimum of fishing with live and uh, just hooking them through the head no big deal and I kind of cast that one kind of back out it's kind of in the front a little bit a little in front of me so I cast over over here and let the current take it and I think it just hit like a patch of real soft mud. Might be a fish. Maybe. Hard to tell. Soft mud. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, uh, might be red. Oh, yeah, it's red. It does line out the way. Oh. oh, don't pull my anchor, buddy. Don't pull my anchor. Dang it, he pulled my anchor. Come on, anchor, hold on. Hold on, anchor. Might have to. Double down with this anchor. Don't want to get pulled out of the channel. Uh, well, it's be a nice red, I think. Can just take our time with them. Uh, in that current, so add some weight to him when he's in that current like that. Come on, come on. Let's swing back this way, bud. Come on. Uh, here we go, here we go. Choke up on the rod a little bit. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Stuck around a little longer. Ah. Uh, Paid off. Look at this. 
beauty. It's right off the bottom, the same little mud patch, you know. Soft mud, it's important to find soft mud. So I found a little soft mud, I caught a flounder there, kept casting back, because I'm getting drugged and hung up, so I know it's soft mud, so. Just, uh, you know, they're just down there, that, that mud absorbs the heat, and that's, that's what this guy is. All right, let's lip him up and uh, get him measured up. All right. Nice to pick this guy off there. Oh, nice big mouth, and I think he choked it. He might. He's going to be 21. I mean, he's going to be, I think he's going to be 21. Maybe 22. And a couple of spots on that side. Oh. Let's, let's calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. It ain't that bad. Oh. <laughs> okay. It is that bad. Man, you're just wrapping up in my line, though. Don't wrap up in my line, though. Okay. Okay. Let's get this board. We brought a bag of ice today. We brought a our Magellan bag. I know a few people have asked about that bag. Magellan kayak cooler. I've had that thing for probably like three years. And uh, it's awesome. It does does its job, you know. Soft shell. Oh, yeah. This guy is... I said he might be 21. He's 26. 26 and a quarter. Typically, I don't like keeping the reds this big. But I'm going to keep this guy. I'm going to keep him. I want to do a... Uh, a half shell tomorrow is a perfect day for me to uh, for me to cook them. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a half shell. So it might be a little bit of a catch and cook, guys. I don't know if y'all interested. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I always say that, but then when I get cooking, I can't. You know, I can't multitask. <laughs> I say I will, but I can't multitask. So no promises. Just be on the lookout. I might do a separate little little video for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release the rest of these shrimp and look, I, I look, I, I have a Mr. Bubbler and I have this this little bait bucket and that's it. And it's let's see, it's it's 2:30, so I put the shrimp in this bucket. Uh, and of course, the, you know the, the the cold air helps, but I put I put the bait in this bucket around uh around 7 30 8 o'clock this morning and look they're still all alive and kicking like all of them that's awesome you know i'm almost i'm almost i almost hate throwing them away you know i hate it, releasing them but they're gonna they're gonna go back and, and and feed the fish and look at them they're all they're all kicking all alive check out bait daddy great uh great sponsor of the channel good guy family owned great sponsor of the channel but you know i had a good time i had a good time you know it's cold it's it's nippy out the 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 water is cold on your fingers and uh you know we had the water level has dropped the tide is like gushing out today um the, the bite forecast isn't there for us we just had a freeze so a lot of things stacked up against us and that's why that's why i stopped and my friend bait daddies and then i picked up some bait so that's why I did that and you know that saved the day that red saved the day I'm gonna go home I'm gonna go make a red on the half shell grill tomorrow you know I bought some steaks so I'm making some steaks and I'm gonna grill some red too so um, hopefully hopefully I'll, I'll throw a little quick little video of that if you guys are interested not really a catch and cook but uh, I'll definitely toss that up but yeah I'm gonna release this bait back into the wild appreciate it bait daddies thank you for everything Thank you. You know, this is kind of, you know, nice, nice size. You know, they're not like too big. They're a few are small, but that's what you're getting this time of year. You know, that's what you're getting. That's what they're pulling out of the Kima Galveston area. And yeah, got some bait. Bait is gone. We are gone. We are out. Had a great time on the water. Feels good to feel good again. I've been sick. I think I've said that plenty of times today. I've been sick sinus infection hacking up big old nasty green slimy guys at the back of my throat and uh it was really good to be back on the water it was really good to be um be out here doing it guys but um thanks a lot appreciate each and every one of you thanks for viewing thanks for checking it out 
Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share.